welcome your friend of mine, uh, very much, literally my friend in fact, Tim Key. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, hi. That's all from me. Uh, Mark has a lot to get through. Please, will you welcome... I've got actually I've got a couple of seconds, actually. So just to repeat, hi. Uh, <laughs> he's got a lot to get through. He's appallingly thin. He's the comedy stalagmite. Please welcome, weighing in at a gram, Mark Watson! Oh, sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. One sort of. Yeah, exciting. But, um, uh, well, so here in the first of the six and twenty hours at our disposal... Six and twenty hours, six and twenty hours, six and twenty hours, six and twenty Jay hours. Jay Foreman! Six and twenty hours, six and twenty hours, six and twenty hours. Alexander is in charge of monitoring taste and decency. Six and twenty hours, six and twenty hours, six and twenty hours, six and twenty hours. Uh, Izzy, ladies and gentlemen. She's decided to draw as many pictures of Bradley Walsh as she can. Six and twenty hours, six and twenty hours. No one will even know or care that it's happening. No one will even the first version of the hour is the leak, and there is, you can see there's a leak down there. Care that it's happening. No one will even know or care that it's happening. No one will even know or care that it's happening. Barney doesn't know um, it's happening. No one will even know or care that it's happening. No one will even know or care that it's happening. Extraordinarily, it's back again. Tin and it's happening. No one will even know or care that it's happening. No one will even know or care that it's happening. I must have said fuck a couple of times. The amazing Mr. Marcus Birdman. <laughs> Treat myself and say ass bollocks right now. I, 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 just. And uh, the cat knocks it. Oh, you fucker! Rufus Hound himself. It was uh, 25 years of comic relief. 25 eggs. That's smashed. right, yes. And uh, at least 25 shards of cock egg in my shirt, as I remember. Um, and all over Rachel Riley's countdown board. Yes. Cock hammer, cock hammer, cock hammer. I think it will be the... Oh, there she goes! Zoe Fell is eating the leek. I, um... Without fun... Yeah, I'm just going to slow cook her chicken. That's it. Thank you very much. Um, but also... So no dick golf. No dick golf, yeah, MTG. Bit of the old MTG. I've just worked it out. All I have to do is plug in headphones. <laughs> It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than it is to write a satisfying punchline. <laughs> That's in the sewing section. Uh, a list of everything offensive that's been mentioned in the show so far, so this is anything that would be off-com, regulated, or considered offensive by a particular individual. Uh, uh, the second hour, the, the first hour, Mark Mark was mentioned twice. twice. The phrase Joy spoke ill of the dead. Six times. Ringo Starr was uh, insulted. Key raised the, the spectre of Bradley Walsh uh, as a paedophile. 
She's even, I mean, this is, this is what she's talking about. Four, she's third hour, the death of Steve Irwin, the Trump holding the flesh, Sophie's thoughts about the North, uh, insulting the North, uh, the fourth, I can't remember what it is, um, uh, the fourth, fourth hour, porn bush, uh, Tinky's unspecified illness, uh, tattooed ninja, accidental patronisation of the elderly, do you want to see the worm of gas goons? There we go. See. I'm sorry to be so explicit well, about it. Yeah. It has been replaced by this now. It's there is no going back. People that have done these shows before will tell you. You do other activities, sure. You go on with a shell of a life. But essentially, this changes a man or woman. So don't worry too much about the future. Naiads. Naiads, Mark. Dianas. Dianas. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh -huh. Oh, fuck. Fathom and mop it. Jesus Christ. It's close. Vowel. E-E. Another -E. consonant. Consonant. B. Vowel. Consonant. Vowel. A. Another consonant. Consonant. Sorry. K. No spoilers. Vowel. E. Consonant. I. Yeah! But a suspicious pause there, I thought. You do just wonder about the integrity of the letter gender. And we A's and two I's in that hot hour. Apothem. A-P-O-T-H-E-M. Apothem. So far, Mrs. Walsh is there. A super collie, fragile lipstick, expect halitosis. Well, so Mrs. Walsh. Yeah, so there's something not quite right with us. Damn right, because you need plenty of us. Oh, wait, here we go. You took me. Oh, wait. Don't you believe that? I don't think anyone who's. You can yeah, ring yeah, about yeah, as much yeah. as you want, but you can't always stop a tip jiggle. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, so far... I've got a bit of a switch. How do I feel about white people? But there's... <laughs> to go. So... This is good. Yeah, um... Yeah, yeah. Sophie's Nick, my bit was. My prick is full of tears. Yeah, um... Look at this, I think this will be a one... I feel like my old friend Sammy shit cunt. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Brad, it's good. And that's me out of swears. <laughs> 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 the sun is really old. It's thought to be more than 300 years old. <laughs> 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 <la
The first mention of the sun is as many as 400 years ago. The sun is as big as Brazil at least. <laughs> uh, no one knows if there is life on the sun. The sun, um, no one has been to the sun. Rick Astley uh, claimed to have won. See, if you put Japan into the sun, it would fit in loads of times, but you can't do that and it's pointless. <laughs> uh, th- this, uh, if you sent Bradley Walsh to the sun, he'd hang on in there with the mission for longer than a normal person would, because Walsh has done so many other things that he'd be less phased by it than you'd expect. <laughs> A few facts about the sun there. Also, another fact about the sun, we can't see the fucker. So, uh, <laughs> as with every other time I've done this exercise, the sun is here in name only. <laughs> We've got Ringo, didn't we? So, um... <laughs> Down Bond Street and, and, and show us his balls. And they found the body buried in his garden, but nobody said anything. <laughs> but seriously, 
12 hours is fine. If you, you, could, you could leave your children for 12 hours in a graveyard and no one would think that was bad. So, um... We don't... Just quickly, we've got a tattooist round the corner that's willing to do Sprout on my ass with your face. They're just drawing it up at this moment in time. Balls. 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 Update, we've had dog action for Cory, the Scottish are common, peni, plural of penises, full folk twat, leaving children in a graveyard, stick your melon up your ass, stick your melon up your ass, stick your melon up your ass, your ass, stick your melon up your ass, stick your melon up your ass, stick your Sprite Nazis, the poncho joke was so bad it was genuinely offensive. Pedophile trousers, half a bucket of spunk, that was you Rufus, eat the babies, an ass full of porter, mouth deliver it to the judge, the tongue comes out, some would say that's desperate, the aroma of the scrotum, Ed Miliband discussing the odour of our collective nutsack, and Jeff Lloyd shitting out a purple spray. Field, uh, we covered the whole bloody playing field in jumpers. 
jumpers. Anyway, the bloke from the council's there and he's screaming, what the hell's going on here? You can't leave them bloody jumpers all over the grass. Pick them up. But I carry on and he's threatening to ring the police. But luckily, I've nearly done. I'm nearly done. And I have to convince this guy from the council to climb a tree. Otherwise, how else is he going to see that the jumpers are actually art? Anyway, he's got his finger on call and he's one digit away from the police and finally I get him to do it and he climbs a tree and then he looks down and sees it. A great big ass made from jumpers. His face. He's furious, so all I do is lean back and scream, this is an arse attack! And run off. And six years later I find myself on CITV. Hornia. Before it started, it would blow your dick off. is that I've, I've seen the outside world um, after after many, many hours of, of never getting the chance to see it. It's so beautiful. Hang on, hang on. Wait a minute. It's all right. Not me. What? Is it? Can it be? No, I, 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 um, I, I don't like to use the phrase I feel very uncomfortable uh, going down the old, uh, Beef curtains, this with Alex's mum, really. I, I, I don't know her well. Still getting dinged for that. Yeah. It, it's... Hang on. Hang on. Wait a minute. It's all right. Not me. What? Is it? It's all right. Uh, midnight. Oh, you, actually, Izzy, well done. You've made me more handsome. Well done, mate. Thanks. <laughs> to be fair, she also made you into a Wagamama dish, like a broth at one point. <laughs> Listen, you know when you know you've made it, Mark, when you become a Wagamama dish. I agree. And you know you've made it when you're in, when you're in a 26-hour challenge. Thank you very much, Bradley. Bradley Walsh. I obviously don't like the phrase history's greatest monster. Human animal for the fear. What animal fear? What animal animal? Would you believe it? Carol Vorderman's fucking tip. You've had 11 cunts, you've had 13 shits. Almost all of those seem was not mine, by the way. A lot of them were, you know. You've had 15 pisses, 5 bollocks, 3 bastards, 4 asses, and a total of 15. There's hex shaft, balls, yesterday. Right. But, but, uh, yeah. alright, yeah, fine. And also, to be fair, you're basically sucking off a fish in an hour's time. Okay, here's one. Here's one. Going once for £2,200. Going twice for £2,200. 
Going oh. three times, do I have any other bids yeah, in the room? Yes, he's, you know, oh. sold to Mark Watson. <laughs> 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 Mark, I need 56 swear words from you before the end of the hour. And okay. Something to do with 221 that you want. The smell is absolutely fucking wrong, I've smelled better smells than this shitting in a factory. I, uh... Piss flaps! What shall we do with the rest of this? Piss flaps! Do I hear a shit bucket? He will be a sporty. That was a man over the age of 50 drinking a can of speckled head after a long day at work. If you think that bloke has that was one wine, watch the gold and is now absolutely no. dead to the world. You are wrong. It's not really nine in the morning drink. I, I did know that he was doing this, but I had in my head he was also on a death of 221 units still to do. It's gone.